Most of the public debate over immigration centers on the 11 to 12 million unauthorized immigrants who are already here. Congress is unwilling to tackle immigration reform. However, there are some small constitutional steps President Obama can take in order to improve the system. Without Congress, President Obama's options are limited. In his final year in office, he can take some small steps through executive actions in order to improve the legal immigration system, specifically the employment-based green card program that allows skilled immigrants to work in the United States. Currently, only 140,000 of these folks are granted a green card each year. Moreover, these 140,000 green cards must also be used by their family members of the workers. Instead of a separate green card category for spouses and children, they get a green card that would otherwise go to a worker. 53% of all supposed employment-based green cards went to the family members of workers, while the other 47% went to the workers themselves. Some of those family members are workers, but they should count against a separate green card category or be exempted from the employment-based green card quota altogether. If family members were exempted from the quota or there was a separate green card category for them, an additional 85,232 highly skilled immigrant workers could have entered in 2013 without increasing the numerical quota. Green cards are better than temporary guest worker visas like the H-1B. Workers on a green card can switch jobs without getting government permission, can bargain more effectively with their employers, and can start their own firms. The best workplace regulator is a worker who can switch jobs without legal consequences. The employment-based green card program creates such workers.